uh, with, with a couple of the other players. For an injury is an, another one of those players, sorry, for a gamer, just because I'm looking at his tag. Yeah. It is one of those people who just is all about the fun, and we've seen him recently perform quite well at the Tea Time locals in East of England. Oh, and yeah. So I'm very interested to see how he does here against some talent that perhaps he's not necessarily <laughs> used to. And the interesting thing as well is, when you like think about matchups, you don't normally think about the mirror and how like your tools interact with yourself. Because obviously, um, Granger has a lot of vertical movement available to them. They've got so much horizontal, except with the Shadow Sneak, but um, yeah, that's just a very clean edge. Fantastic edge from F-Smash there from Um Not my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think, so yeah, the, what I like, was gonna say is, is that I, I think that what we're seeing right now is a very slow neutral, yeah. and that is a result of exactly what you were just saying. XW. Yeah, filling it's each other a result out. of the the lack of horizontal movement. You know, these these guys really want to take advantage of that burst movement in the dash attack or or the vertical uh, movement. But also they, on a exactly more meta level, saying. like you know how you play your character. Yes. You don't know how your opponent plays that character, and that can sometimes be vastly different. I feel like when injury is one of those characters that can get a little more expressive on in terms of individual, individual play style, so oh, you need to sort of figure out what your opponent's going to do before you can start to put some of your bigger moves, and certainly in these early games, expect maybe a slower pace before they start to really get the read on each other. 100%. Uh, well, interestingly, we're, we're starting to see quite a few down tilts come out from Crispy. I, I actually think, in reality, what we want to be seeing is the opposite. You know, like you were saying, there is so much um, vertical movement there for Greninja. So instead, what I'd like to be seeing, instead of that down tilt, is actually up tilt, because at any time in neutral, you you want Greninja to be jumping. And so you want to catch those jumps with those with those so up tilts. The thing about it is it also goes the other way, where down tilt pancakes you. You can dodge aerials by down tilting. So you can be on the floor relatively safe and then catch them on the way down. Also, it is just a very fast move that can trip and set up into combo potential, as you saw there with Crispy tempting the tech chase. But not quite getting it this Great time around. Great forward air out from the ledge there from Crispy. <laughs> Good hold. <laughs> I held that up smash for so long. It's one of those where you're, try you're trying to bait the spot dodger at your opponent and fair play to Pro Gamer just not giving it over just waiting for it to come off, because there's no chance of it going that early to break the shield. And if they hold it for too long, you can just jump. Either way, Greninja with the edge guard attempt. No, just uses to, at this stage, to just keep them, put the ledge over. Realizes that, yeah, I know Greninja's toolkit well enough that you probably have enough of a way to get back to the ledge safely. I'm not going to contest it yet. I'm gonna see what you do, see if I can get a read, see if you do something repetitive, and then see if I can get a bigger opportunity later in the set. I have to say, I, I think Pro Gamer is playing this perfectly right now. He he has a uh, a stock lead, and he has a, a whole 132 percent extra credit on top of Crispy. I, I think he's playing really, really fantastically, and and I'm really thrilled to see this sort of play. You know, we, we, we've sort of stopped talking about it, but what we're seeing from Pro Gamer right now is the hold back meta. You know, yes. the, he's not running into Crispy's face. He's not taking any risks like we would normally see him do with the Ganon. We're, we're just seeing great, safe play, you know, camping back with that uh, with that water shuriken and, and just relaxing, just chilling especially out. Especially with lead the Yaz right now, it's like more than safe him to do so because Crispy needs to be the one to approach right now and we're uh, running out of time, you know, we've, yeah. we've, only, we've got less than three minutes, there's half, less than half the game But even remaining. outside of the time, like, what are you doing to approach a Greninja? This is the issue other characters have as well, they're just being expedited onto himself, essentially. One of the things that I'm surprised um, not to see from, from Crispy is his sort of um, turnaround up tilt. I think that really covers like a lot of space. Great yeah. F smash. <laughs> okay, so Pro Gamer we're... got into a pattern and just got punished so hard for it. A hundred percent. What we saw there from Crispy was that adaptation, that ability to stop uh, Pro Gamer from zoning out with those water shurikens. He just runs up, shields shields the shuriken, and F smashes. Uh, fantastic play from Crispy, but. Again, I'm just, I'm just going to bring it back to time here. We've got less than two minutes now. I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to time. I think Crispy is going to 
realise he's on a bit of a clock and maybe get a little more aggressive than he perhaps needs to be, and that's going to cost him. But right now, at least he's got a decent opening here, but just gives up a little bit of pressure because Burgamer is just going high and abusing that good vertical movement and sneaks his way down off the platform. Ooh, I love the patience there. So when when Greninja gets a dash attack, you always expect them to jump up and try and get a forward air. But like that. <laughs> like, like, like that. Although that was the down tilt. That was the down tilt. However, what happened in the situation before the kill was Bro Gamer actually stopped, went back to the jumped, fast fell back to the ground and waited for Crispy's option. Yes. Unfortunately, didn't quite react to it because Crispy went for a aggressive option. But I really like to see that patience, and I think that's one of the reasons that we're seeing Bro Gamer go up in that first game. What, what do you think, uh, Crispy? can do in in this second game in order to really turn it around and bring us to a game three. So like, this is something I feel personally strongly about and I don't think we see enough uh, counter picking on characters mm -hmm. in the UK. It's a relatively powerful tool in that you are just able to shift your matchups quite significantly. Obviously I understand that players like like their characters and like the playstyle of the characters and it's kind of hard to find a character that you like that covers the bad matchups especially. But Speaking of Crispy, you know, we have the ZSS, we have the Meta Knights. I'm. And I, I'm just sat here thinking, you've lost the Ditto. Like, that's fair enough. Sometimes another player just has that matchup covered. Are you going to switch off and. Yep, there yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. The Meta Knight. okay. Now, I've not seen this Meta Knight in a very long time. I, I've not seen the Crispy Meta Knight in... Last time I saw it, it was F smashing me to hell, so... Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's definitely one thing, but I, I, what I am concerned about here is that... I mean, he's oh just dead. He's what dead! Are you, what are you concerned I'm, about, Fire? Uh, what are you concerned? Uh, what am, is the uh, issue uh, here? I am not concerned anymore. <laughs> I, I am most certainly not concerned anymore because, you know, Crispy has just come in and shown us that explosiveness that we needed in that last game. We needed him to approach. We needed him to get out there and instantly oh, is get a kill. Not quite. Oh, There's no. Well. <laughs> Okay, so we're going from so almost happened? being at a minute in our last <laughs> game to Pro Gamer being two stocks Wait. down oh. before a minute has passed in this game too. Like this is exactly what we were talking about though. Was like, whereas in the last game Greninja was able to abuse Greninja in the Ditto to afford that slower play style. Right now he's being forced to play up tempo by the Meta Knight, and right now. Bright just doesn't have that pace in him, as you saw with that SD, and right now, still behind in percent on the stocks, regardless of the count. This is quite a dramatic shift in turn. Oh, the safe safe. dimensional cape was so good from Crispy. Like, Brunninger has to go all the way out to try and get this, but it's not able to, because... Is that going to kill? That's a three stock! Nice percent! <laughs> Oh that was goodness. the most dramatic turnaround I think I've seen in the history of Smash Ultimate. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. And, and you know, we've seen the perfect turnaround from, from Crispy there. What we've seen is we've gone from that slow, considered, measured playstyle to the blender. You know, yeah, that, that's like, exactly what it is. It's just, it's just the blender of going from 0 to 60 in less than 30 seconds. You know, he, he turned it right up. And it's Smashville. It, how, how, but like, it's exactly what I was talking about, about in, in between games, right? It's like, you want that counter pick a character to afford you the different play style that Crispy has just maybe shown to excessive detail. But yeah, going to, back to Smashville, uh, it's like, I'm kind of scared of Bro Gamer is picking Smashville because, like, we we've seen how early Crispy is willing to kill on the two he actually. Oh, oh! oh! I okay. am peaking. My apologies, but <laughs> I was not mentally prepared for the Ganondorf. <laughs> oh, this this changes a lot about what I was about to say. In which case, yes, this is a very good stage for Bro Gamer. Okay. Um, Instantly, 30, 36 percent from Bro Gamer, and uh, I, I think we've got quite uh, quite an interesting matchup here because naturally, MK can can shark under this platform here forever. So Bro Gamer has to be very careful as to when he goes up on that platform because those up airs are deadly. 
and I'm I'm just a little bit. Oh, that <laughs> that's just a hard read. <laughs> like the thing about Gandalf is he is a very big boy. If you know where he's going, it can be very easy just to set up exactly where you know he's going to be and cover it with, while staying safe yourself. But like, fair enough, you get all this percent, Crispy. You are at kill percent, sir. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I have seen Bro Gamer take these. Back I won't do it this time around, but you can see just like how much work we've had to do to get vaguely similar percents. Is not going to get killed to make the cape this time around. That is a great actually. Oh. That side B is a great uh, recovery option from Crispy because actually there's no way for Ganon to perfectly uh, grab the ledge. And so that side B will actually catch Ganon before he grabs the ledge. So I really love seeing Crispy already knowing that, already having that game knowledge. And we shall see if it comes into effect in the rest of this oh. game. Ooh, just being caught by the very edge of that up air. It is so scary to edge guard Ganondorf sometimes because the aerials are surprisingly good and surprisingly quick. That if you just aren't playing away at all times, you will just get knocked to Kingdom Come. I love and that. Right now, I love that, now, back air. that now, back air is so wonderful. The issue with this crispy because you can build all this percent. This isn't Greninja where most of your stuff will kill. You actually need to find a hard kill option here, or potentially an edge guard. Or you can okay, just kill early. That works enough. too. Um, I think what <laughs> happened there was Bro Gamer was a little bit scared. Oh, I thought you had him covered. Of Crispy coming off stage and, and edge guarding him, and so he held back just a little bit too much on that upbeat, which means he couldn't quite grab the ledge. But this early on, we're seeing a good 60% uh, lead for. Oh, that's disgusting. Crispy. Headphones off. Catch! <laughs> Bro Gamer. Catch by Crispy there. Is in full focus mode right now. This is the danger zone. Crispy has the lead, but we all know how powerful Ganondorf can be in just terms of killing you. Crispy has the chance to secure this game right here, though, with ledge guards. But he's still got to get a solid 40% on on this MK before he can even look at killing. Is this kill? Unless we can see... No! Does he have a jump, though? Okay, has a jump. Oh, oh good coverage. That's a kill. What awareness from Crispy there. That was absolutely beautiful. Going out there, choosing intentionally to get hit by... The up B of Bro Gamer deciding actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get hit. I'll be able to tech because I'm ready for, yeah. the, for the for the knockback, and I can immediately nair to knock Ganon far away. And as we know, one of Ganon's biggest weaknesses is his ability to recover. You know, he is a heavy, heavy boy. He's going to fall into that.